Hello and welcome back. In this class, I'm just gonna teach you some interesting thing about the bootstrap. Actually, for many things, we have to create or actually apply some images. For icons, multiple icons, we have to apply some images, but there, in the bootstrap, bootstrap is giving us the perfect thing. Whenever you just open the bootstrap, you can see that there is a fonts folder, okay? Which is a part of the bootstrap and inside the fan font folder you can see that the, there are a lot of files like cliff icons half links regular half links regular and then uh, EOT SVG TDF whatever files we don't need to do anything with the fonts folder this is just a folder and everything is, is cleared by the, the bootstrap.css so we just need to do one thing that we need to call that icons okay the icon name is actually or how to apply the icon just type glyph icon okay this is the name of the icon glyph icon and then which icon do you want so now there is a little problem because we just don't know the name of the icons so why not I just type the glyph icons and bootstrap cheat sheets I just opened the website where I can get the names of the whole icons so it's about to open now and then you will see the whole sheet now if we just type the glyph icon euro then I'll get this sign if I just type the uh, glyph icon uh, envelope then I'll get this uh, this uh, icon or anything you can see that there are approximately um, 256 or something icons I don't I just don't know about the complete quantity by the way well this is the glyph icon adjust this is a glyph icon tent the picture and if you just want to place the video on your website and just want to show the icon of the video so let's just type the FaceTime video for now I'm just adding the glyph icon camera okay so glyph icon first of all just add the class of the glyph icon to apply the uh, the font of the glyph icon then glyph icon this is the name of the icon so the glyph icon camera that means this is the class okay so glyph icon hyphen camera now save and go to the browser and refresh that I got the camera here you can see that okay this is looking really perfect you can use the class anywhere uh, for example here I'm just typing I am a photo for the uh, semicolon or sorry the single code just type the APOS the entirety grapher well this will not make any big change because we are not programming or something this is a simple rendering now you can see that I'm the photographer so I can add this class okay anything just suppose I'm just adding a BR here and then again creating this pan one thing more I just want to clear you that this is not necessary to create the glyph icon or use the glyph icon inside the span we can use the eye tag as well or any other thing <coughs> just like that so by the way there I'm just again calling the glyph icon okay then space now I just want to get the name of the yeah the envelope okay glyph icon envelope so there glyph icon hyphen envelope okay and there I'm just typing gdskhmediatherhgmail.com now save and go to the browser and there and refresh that now you can see that here I'm just showing the email address and there is the icon of the email so this is what I just want to teach you about the glyph icon to how to use we can use the glyph icons in the a tags in the buttons as well so I'm just gonna use the glyph icon inside the button okay so before the button I'm just creating an input tag okay type and then just cover that and here I'm just typing text but before that one thing more I'm just going to do or it will be little typical to do so just directly you use, use the button tag I'll, j I'll just I just want to show you the pair of the button and the input but this will be typical for you I know about that so by the way to creating a button just put the BDN and the BDN success this is in a style of the button and then here let's just type search or anything whatever you, whatever you want go to the browser and refresh now I got the button of the search here and then just after the search add in space or before the search whatever wherever you just want to place your icon 
span okay now go there and let's just search the sign of the search is the glyph icon search really simple going there and then again adding the class of the glyph icon space glyph icon hyphen search save and then refresh that now I got the search link here I hope you understood we can use this in the input as well you will learn that when we just uh, talk about the input like input text fields and whatever so I hope you understood how to use the glyph icon anywhere where we just want in which way we want now note the website which I just typed simply glyphicons.bootstrapcheatsheets.com to access on the the whole list of the bootstrap you can see that oh, sorry not the bootstrap the glyph icon there are a lot of uh, glyph icons you can use any of them whatever you want according to your need so in the next class we'll learn some more things about the bootstrap stay tuned and goodbye